What's going on everybody? Lambo here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the scene graph. That is this bad boy right here. When you very first open up your Giants Editor, if you're making mods for Farming Simulator 22 or any of the previous versions, this scene graph is going to be inside of here and it's pretty important that you understand some rules and basic dynamics of how it works. Because throughout Farming Simulator, the way it's used, it somewhat changes here and there. Especially when we start getting into maps and you get more options as far as you could say. Or then again, it's also used in XML to where it can pull up this i3D file and select certain index paths, which we're not going to get into attributes this session, but each one has its own index path. So say if you wanted this type of wheel, the TM1000, but you wanted the progressive traction instead of the high powered traction, this is a setup that the scenograph is set up to where you can identify that in XML. Unlike with a map or a vehicle, nine times out of 10, everything has to be inside of one of these little blue boxes, what they call a compound. And sometimes there is multiple compounds. There's special little changes here and there, but most of your typical trucks, trailers, stuff like that is normally going to have one, maybe two compounds. You're going to get into some tractors and compi combines, let's trip it over my words today, that are going to have multiple compounds. Mixing combines with compounds. Blah, blah. And if you have anything such as, let's just say, a plane, if you have anything outside of that and you don't have it registered inside of the XML, as in with this jet fighter inside of the XML, it's going to be the one to my right, I only have one component, I keep saying compound, component, listed in there so this additional one would actually throw me an error and screw it let's load up the game and show you what that looks like and so pretty much what we got we're going to bring up our screen here is i've already purchased this fighter before and this is a save game but it's loading it says exactly i3d offers two objects but one components have been loaded so Basically, anything that we saved here, this little plane, isn't getting loaded. The game's just ignoring it. It's going to give you a little error saying, hey, look, you jacked up. We're going to fix your mistake. So let's delete that so I can fix my mod. And then we wouldn't have that issue. Next, I'm going to cover the order matters. The order matters so much. This game relies upon these things called index paths. Every single line inside of lines and whatnot has a index path. You'll look over here. It says index path 0 greater than 0. And then if we go inside of that, it'll just make a little line and it'll say that's the next line. And I even have a camera inside of that one. So every time you're working on a mod, most times your first camera you're going to enter is going to be your outdoor camera and then you're going to hit save and you're going to mess it up so what i do is i create a work cam at the very top above my other cameras so i always load into my work camera and i never have to worry about where my work cam is saved and it, it just has my outdoor cam you can see it right there it's perfectly fine otherwise you'll get these weird moments where your camera is saved underneath the earth so order does matter next up relaying these in uh, index points these paths here to inside the xml they all mean something such as fake wheel i have given this index path the name fake wheel all the way down at the bottom here wherever it is fake wheel and it's at this index path that i've identified it that would be this one right here if i move that up or down we're gonna hit save 
We're gonna go like this. Don't mind the very loud jet, but we're gonna reload it. And now they're opposite. So the game thinks that these this wheel is the other wheel. Even though we have it, the name in here, right here, does not matter. It's what you assign the name in here and assign this node. Just think of node as index path always. So we named it this. It doesn't matter what you name it in here. But I like to keep it the same. That way it's easy for animational purposes. But the placement does matter in a lot of different things. Uh, such as lights if you were to swap the place of the front lights with the brake lights when you hit your brakes your front lights would come on and your brake lights would come on the opposite if you know what I'm saying here so you cannot move stuff around once you start assigning it and you give it a name and an index path and you match up the two you're basically marrying these two documents these these two files uh, this is like the the guide or the legend to this look at it like a map this is your your legend to your map here and your legend also tells the game this is your player skin and whatnot so the order matters when you're adding stuff to this mod say if you downloaded this or another mod and you wanted to add something to it it's usually going to be best we're just going to collapse all open it back up so i can keep it simple it's usually best, like if you wanted to add missiles to this and you weren't sure, but you wanted to be safe, I'd create a new transform, control exit to cut it, paste it inside here at the very bottom. Hello. It doesn't matter what I do for the most part now. Oh, there's a lot you can do to mess it up. But if I wanted to put extra gear, extra missiles, flashy lights, things I wanted to code in and not mess with the other code, I would put it in here. A lot of times in mods that don't necessarily have a real camera, like a vehicle and whatnot, you're going to spawn in this personal camera, PRSP, I don't know what that stands for, but it's going to spawn. And when you hit save on the mod, it doesn't exist anymore once you get out of there. The gi Giants editor is just creating it for you while you're in there editing. So no need to worry about that. Just make sure it's at the very bottom so it doesn't interfere because if this is uh, above that, as you can see, it changes all the index paths. So just make sure it's at the very bottom so your index paths match up. And with placeables, it's a tad different with placeables. Order does matter if you're marrying it up with uh, an XML. But I've seen people build several different transform groups. You don't necessarily need to have a component. Uh, you can build quite a bit off of that, off of this. And it somewhat teeters right along the same line with maps to where they have different transform groups with different file or different objects in the inside of there so it it matters in a sense that if you tell this field and blah 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 or not the field that's not a good example i uh, if you have any kind of xml that marries up with a map you need to make sure that it, it knows the proper uh index pass most of the time we ain't working with xml's that are directly changing the map so the order in here sometimes matters sometimes doesn't once again if you're unsure just create a new transform group at the base of you know say at southern france this is always always going to be one of the safest routes is creating a new one try not to copy other transform groups because sometimes you see here where it says user attributes you could accidentally copy a transform group that has additional code assigned to it that creates the sun in the afternoon or something like that I don't know it could be a random code or an on create so whenever you're wanting to install new stuff in a map that's a really safe way to do it and right now if you hit, haven't hit the like button please hit that for me brothers I'm gonna share some tricks with you so right now say if we wanted to put this enter all the way at the top you have two options one you can right click on it and press move up which will painfully move it all the way up there 
or what we could do is select at the very top and selecting order is important here and hold shift click there now we have all that selected we would hit control X for cut oh I can't do that because of the first camera Ugh. okay so let's not do the camera let's say we want to put it there just to make fast so select all that and then I would paste it and now enter is right below where our, where our work camera is but the whole mod isn't coded for that so darn it I need to fix it how would I fix that I just click on it right click and paste right back at the bottom again that's a cool little nifty trick that'll save you a lot of time especially if you're getting to the point where you make a mod and your main collision is way off but everything is underneath it because I must express to you dearly that everything you do to a transform group affects the ones underneath it. So everything I just moved around right here, right there, just affected it. Uh, everything underneath it. I hope that makes sense. So wheels. If I have wheels, all that is moved. Even though those are individual wheels, all that is moved. So if I hit scale, it's just out of whack. So I have to express that to you enough, like what you do to one, and usually you don't want to get all massively scaled off. You want, you notice my scaling here is a one to one to one to one. Uh, some things I'll start getting, like when I start making some custom wheels, this wheel is from Giants Editor. How I have it here is I have it scaled out, but the actual wheel that spins in the game is this, this one right here. It is all scaled at the one. And if you want to scale stuff out, you just right click on it, go freeze transformations, you would unselect translate, and then you would hit scale and apply. All right, guys, I'm at the 12 minute marker. Hit that like. If you want some more of these, let me know down in the comments. I'm uh, grasping for straws at ideas uh, for tutorials. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.